Hello everyone, this is Abela David. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show us how to extract numbers from alphanumeric values using multiple functions. Let's get started. Now we have this sample data. In column A, we discovered that we have both numbers and text values in each of the cells. So we want to extract all the numbers. Okay, now this data is formatted in an Excel table. So let's dive in. So in B2, I'm going to start by typing equal sign, then deploy the len function. Press my tab key. Now for the single argument, I'm going to select the value in cell A2. Then I close my parentheses. So let's evaluate when I press F9. Now we discover that we have 22 characters long in cell A2. Press Ctrl Z. Now right after the equal sign, I'm going to deploy the indirect function. Now it requires the ref text. So I'm going to deploy single quote one, then colon another single quote and use the ampersand sign to join that with the len. Let's just evaluate what this is going to deliver. So when I press F9, boom. So we can see we have one colon 22, okay, which means this first character up to the last character. Now control Z. I'm going to close my indirect. Now, after the equal sign again, I'm going to deploy the row function. So, it's going to be all my value for the row. Now, let's press F9 and evaluate. We have a bunch of 1, 2, or through to 22. Okay, so meaning that we have 1 to 22 characters. So, press Ctrl Z, go back. After the equal sign again, I'm going to deploy the mid function. Now, this is going to be my text, comma, and my starting number will be all this formula with combination of row indirect and len function. So, I'm going to copy this, control C. Now, come right after the parenthesis, then deploy a comma. So, the number of characters, I'm going to deploy one, and I close my mid. So, let's evaluate. Press F9, boom. It delivers one two three all the numbers in double quotes and we have all the text in double quotes no problem i'm going to press ctrl z to go back now what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert all the text to numbers okay let me press f9 again boom all these text i'm going to convert them to numbers so i'm going to press ctrl z now right after the cosine i'm going to deploy the is number function now i'm going to just do one plus then i close my is number so when i evaluate press f9 boom it delivered true 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 meaning that this we have one two five put a number and it is true then we have false for all the text now let's control z right after the equal sign i'm going to deploy the if function now, I'm going to check whether this logical test is true. Now, if this is true, do I want for value true? I want to return all this bunch of row indirect and len formula. Then comma, if it is false, I just want zero. Then I close my formula, press F9 to evaluate. Now, you can see that we have one, two, three representing the numbers and we have zeros, zeros, zero for the text. And this is the 11th, 12th, 14th, 15th characters that are numeric values. Control Z to go back. Now, after the equal sign again, I'm going to deploy another function called the large. So it's going to be my array. So what do I want for my K arguments? I want to repeat the row indirect and the len formula. When I close my large, press F9 to evaluate. Now we can see that it transposed all the numbers to the left and the zeros represent the text to the right. So press Ctrl Z to go back. Again, after the equal sign, I'm going to deploy another function called the mid. So again, I want this to be my text, comma, and it's going to be my starting number. Okay, then for the number of characters, I just want one each time we have this text and the starting number. Close my mid again, press F9 on the keyboard. Boom, we have three zero zero five five two one, which are basically all the numbers 
in this cell A2, and we have a bunch of value errors in renting our formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to write another formula round about the large formula already to undo all the value errors. So control Z. So after the equal sign, deploy the if error to trap and undo errors. So that's going to be my value. Comma. So the value if error, I want, I want, I want zeros. I close that up when I press F9 to evaluate. Boom. So you can see that we've handled all the errors with zeros. Control Z. Now I'm going to do some product. Okay. Now for my some product, I'm going to do um, right after this bracket, multiply by, I'm going to use what's called a power function which returns the result of a number raised to a power. Press my tab key to raise to a power 10. And for the power argument, I want to repeat the row indirect and the length formula. And I'm going to just close my power, close my sum product. When I hit enter on my keyboard, boom, we have 1, 2, 5, 5, 0, 0, 3. And we extracted one, two, five, five, zero, zero, three. Good. But we discovered that Excel added an extra zeros for us. No problem. I'm going to press F2 to open up the formula. I'm going to just delete the two brackets. So I actually want to put in minus one for the power formula. So minus one. Then I close, close. Control enter amazing. So we've been able to extract all the numbers from the alphanumeric values. This is cool. Now let's check here. We have three zero four numbers, and that's cool. In cell A7, we have four zero three zero four two one three four. Cool. Three zero four two one three four. Cool. Now let's just add this value. So I'm just gonna grab this and drop it here. Boom. It worked amazing. I love this. It's cool. So this is basically how we extract numbers from alphanumeric values using multiple functions. Now this is part one. In part two, I'm going to use show you rather how to use new dynamic array functions in combination with the traditional functions to achieve the same thing. So watch out for the next video. Thank you and bye for now and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers.